Yo guys, what's up? It's Crips, and welcome to another Destiny 2 fashion video. So today I'll be showing you the final exotic ornament from this season. Now I've already made a video on the new Stompies and the new Phoenix Cradle ornament for the Titan, so I recommend you go check them out if you haven't already. But today we will be going over the new Crown of Tempest ornament for the Warlock. Now this was introduced this season and is currently in the seasonal section of the store for 600 silver. I'll basically be showing you the exotic with a bunch of shaders and some sets I made to show you if it is worth purchasing or not. So yeah, if you do find this video useful, please drop a like and consider subscribing. And without further ado, let's get straight into this. So here we have the ornaments. Now before we look at shaders on it, I do want to compare it to the other ornaments, which are for this exotic. Now before I put shaders on it, I do want to show you the other ornaments that are available for the Crown of Tempests. So this is the original look if you don't know. This exotic does drop from world drops. Then there is another ornament called the Crown Jewels. It's an ice version. Now currently you cannot purchase this ornament, although it can drop from Eververse Ingrams. And then we have the Diadem of Deceit, my personal favourite ornament for the Crown of Tempests. And this is currently being sold in the Eververse Archive. I personally just prefer the look of this. You can make some really cool hive sets if you do have the Steeplechase ornaments. They do work well with that as well. But even though I like this um, ornament more, this is currently like my second favourite. Um, it's not too bad. It's actually quite a unique look. Um, as you can see, it's like a full tech look with a nice halo going around the top here. Um, it's just super unique. And if you do like using the new pieces from this season, this is definitely um, something you're going to be looking out for if you really like a tech look. Which the diadem is really only good for like a hive look. As, um, as you can see, there's loads of shadering problems with this here. Whereas with this one, you can fully shader it and it also matches with the new gear. But we are firstly going to go over some shaders to give you an idea of how it does shader. So we've got the new Crucible shader here. Um, as you can see already right off the bat, the glow, which is on the default here um, as purple, does actually change. I don't think there's one bit of this which doesn't shader. I'm uh, just looking at this right now. I think everything shaders on this, which is great as the glow was something I was worried about not changing, but it actually does, so it's going to be very nice. Now I've made a personal set with the Abyssinian Gold shader, as you'll see later, but this is very nice for the helmet. Then here's the Seven Sisters shader. Now both Abyssinian Gold and Seven Sisters can sometimes be sold in the brightest store. As you can see, it can create a galaxy effect on the helmet. Then another shade that looks quite nice is Cryptic Insignia. Now this is from opening both secret chests in the Deepstone Crypt Raid. Then here is Horizon's Blush, another really nice shade as I'll show you all later to use on this helmet. This was from this season of the Hunt Pass. Um, just some really nice colours and the glow again. Anything that really pops a really nice glow on this helmet will really stand out. Like here we have the Carbon Blood, a full black and red with a nice white glow and a lighter colour around the head here. Then we have Carminica. Um, the glow doesn't look too good on this, but this is from the Seasonal Arrivals Crucible Pursuit. Then we have Vintage Timber and Oiled Algae. These are both from the Sources of Heroes at the end of the season. Um, these shaders don't look too bad on it either. Another one I personally like is Valkyrie Zero. This is one of my personal favourite shaders and it was from the Seasonal Wavy Seasonal Quest. It's a nice orange with a contrast in blue glow. Another one that looks really cool on this is Gamba Jade Stone. Really bright green glow. Uh, consistent throughout the whole helmet which looks quite nice overall then another one that i found that looks really cool this is iron moss bone from the season of a dying iron banner offers a nice white and gold with a nice white glow as well then we have wielded brass for a nice dark purple with a purple glow this doesn't glow too much but still is a really nice purple shader from the season of dawn so years refurbished black armory not too bad although i've noticed little hints of red in the glow here but mostly white, Rasmussen Clan, House of Mayrin, Satu Tribe, and New Age Black Armory. Now as for these four shaders here, Satu Tribe, House of Mayrin, Rasmussen Clan, and New Age Black Armory, these are currently obtainable from dismantling Black Armory gear, which is currently in the loot pool. Then also we have Bagheez and Knight, which is no longer obtainable, but still a really nice purple shader. And as you can see, the purple gets brighter and dims every so often on the cloth here. Then we have Midnight Smith from the Scourge of the Past raid. Then here is 44 Steel. This is very nice and is from Eververse Engrams. Then we have Dreaming Cast here. Usually it makes glows green, as you can see the little bits here trying to go green, but overall it's quite a light colour. And this is from Dreaming City Gear. Then we have Dreaming Spectrum from the Last Wish raid. And finally we have Precursive X Chrome which is from the Eververse bundle, which costs Glimmer in the store right now. 
chromatic which is also from the same bundle which actually eliminates the glow here as well as golden trace which is another shader that eliminates the glow and then finally callus is selected and callus is treasured these are both from the leviathan raid which is no longer obtainable so anyways here is one quick set i made uh, with the ornaments obviously i'll show you some more armor pieces in a sec but um, on the helmet here obviously we got the new ornament the arms are the new interlaced arms ornament from this season's pass now i have made a video on all three of the sets so i do recommend checking out if you haven't seen it already then i have the leg seal pieces on the robes and the boots and the forbidden visage on the bonds now these leg seal pieces drop from the deep stone crypt raid and as for the bonds this is from the forbidden visage set which is currently in the Eververse archive so yeah the leg seal pieces will work perfectly with this even the arms and the bond here uh, would look really nice so here's the arms here as well anything like heavy on tech would look really cool with this but yeah you can really go with anything with this i chose abyssinian golds i really like the colors but um, horizons blush looks really nice as well so here is a you know gambit jade stone the reason why i like these arms so much is if you haven't seen them already uh, there's our glow lines going through the arms so it's like very tech like and i think it looks really cool definitely matches the helmet here so i'm going to take this off and i'm going to show you all as well the new seasonal chest plate with this ornament um, i'm going to keep the leg seal boots on as i'll show you with the ornament here um, i think these boots would actually do better in this kind of set so yeah here it is with the new seasonal arms and the robes definitely an amazing match with this helmet so here again we could go with the gamba jade stone very bright glows with these nice lines going through here with the glow you could even go with like an icy blue look um, or even like a purple look or oh, both of these look really nice either way then we have amethyst veil um, which also looks pretty good on the helmet i don't think i showed this off in the shader segment and also there's metro shift as well which is pretty much like a more blue version of amethyst veil so yeah the new seasonal ornaments are very nice with this now as well as using these robes you could also use the new light kin pieces so you can use the new fur coat here um, obviously this is the non-ornament version of the robes and you get this from the new six player activity um, some people may prefer this more i just really love the fur on these robes and i think i'd rather use this over the ornaments but as you can see again just throwing some shaders on it is extremely easy to use uh, obviously because the helmet it does no matter what shade you chuck on it it'll work either way and then finally there is one more set i do want to show you all so i'll check on the seed break set if you don't know this is from the season of arrivals pass now you can just use the legs heel boots i think they work better here uh, but here's the seed break look i don't think these look good at all so if you can try and get the legs heel boots um so basically here it is i think this also looks extremely good with this so here's like the new techno fusion um you can even change up the bonds i like going somewhere with like a globe and that's also why i like using these arms here because the arm which the bond is glowing is also the same arm which these arms glow because on the other side it doesn't have the same wiring so it sort of flows of having like one arm full of glow and then the other arm not having any glow at all i just really like this symbol on here but obviously the celestial bond it works all right we got the siege break but that can only go orange we also have the valkyrian which you could go with a nice glow so yeah they are pretty much the sets uh, this is 44 steel i quickly checked on i really do like this brown as well and here quickly is midnight smith and bagheez and knight on the set as well but yeah that's pretty much the video now do i actually think it's worth it i do mainly because like compared to other ornaments it has the diadem of the seat is the only one i'd say is like worth it more than this although it really depends on like your taste in terms of fashion i prefer like the hive warlock look so that's why i prefer this but if you prefer tech then obviously i'd say go for this the issues you have with diadem um as you could see it's like not fully shaderable so that is one issue there whereas with this new one it is fully shaderable that's one big thing i'd say is like way better about this as well as the fact that like with this ornament steeplechase is no longer obtainable whereas with this helmet we also have the lexi oath which works with it as well as the new seasonal armor which are currently obtainable so it's a lot easier to pair this in fashion that's why i would suggest it if you do really like it but yeah guys if you did enjoy the video please drop a like and consider subscribing and yeah don't forget to check out my other two exotic ornament videos i do want to say thank you so much for 17,000 subscribers again i know i keep saying thank you but you don't understand how grateful i am for like the amazing support you've all given to this channel and i'm ever so grateful for it so i'm going to try and keep this up all the content coming you've got so much more content on the way 
And yeah, I just hope you all stick around for it. But yeah, guys, stay safe. And I'll see you on the next video.